Got to do some uh, mowing today. Mowing my, uh, well, it's not really mowing, but it's kind of like mowing. What are we mowing? So I have this iris here, and it, it just goes everywhere. It's kind of like a, a, a carefree grass. It, it stops growing at that height. It's drought resistant, grows in the shade. See how, how easy it pulls out. Just, and it leaves the, the, most of the root just to, in the soil to uh, keep the soil light. And then I have this other, this is Mondo grass, another wonderful thing. Just grows to that height and is very drought resistant, grows in the shade. Over here is, is the, oh, blueberries. So I pulled it out. Oh, very nice. See, and here's a pile over here. And the blueberries grow better with that stuff, you know, it's kind of like it, it, the roots makes the soil the roots go in the soil and you pull it out and leaves the roots there. And for, for blueberries in this kind of California soil, it really helps the blueberries grow. This might be cheap, but oh my god. All the plastic you could ever want to eat. What do we have here? Oh. <laughs> what is that? Most of the green beans. So this place used to have like a lot of really unique ice cream, and now it only has a few little things. We have carrot ice cream, carrot. We have a shijimi type of little shellfish ice cream. They used to have spinach, but you had a tomato ice cream at one point. Order goes on the same time. So. Bye. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go for a cacao africana swirl. Man, I think that's a good decision. Hey, here's another little tip: if you have cardboard or paper, newspaper, any kind of paper, worms really love paper. And you don't need to like shred it up or anything. No. So you just put your cardboard pan of water because the worms they worms they like they love cardboard but they love it wet uh -huh. and then it'll soak a little bit and then stick it on the top of it. that's that's the, the surprising thing that I found is how much worms love simple cellulose sawdust or paper that's them. That's they love that. It's like this other stuff. They don't like to eat like a you know kitchen garbage and that's. They're not interested in that. They like the the, uh -huh. the real thing, just cellulose. So. These uh, these things actually have a, a very pretty little bloom blossom in the spring, but obviously it's too late. So you wait till they till they fade and then. But then it makes. Then the worms, a good lot of cellulose here, so you put in the compost pile, then the worms, as I said with the paper, you know, they just love this stuff. That's it. We're here picking up some horse meat for the barbecue tonight. <laughs> Seriously. Raw horse meat. Look at that, what a novelty. Oh, he ate it. Mm. Tastes like, um, Man's best friend. You're eating it, Kyle? Kyle what am I supposed to do with it? Uh oh. Tastes like beef jerky. Yeah. Exactly what I thought. Hmm. After oh. taste is a little funny. So this is an Abbott lawn. Yeah. This is this is a relawning because it kinda we don't take much good care of the let it be natural. So so I roughed up the soil a little bit. And then I spread seeds around, and then I just put these leaves on top, and keep it wet, and then you see right here, and we walk on it too, I mean just like right now you're walking on it. So here's this grass coming up, and then when it gets out, you know, it'll, it, the enough light gets through here so it'll just pop up over the, but the leaves keep it, keep it moist and keep the sun off of it so it won't dry out too quick. So a very convenient way to 
redo your lawn. I mean, it's not exactly going to be a manicured lawn. But, <laughs> but who wants that anyway? Exactly. Well, thanks, Farmer Carl. <laughs> You're welcome. The lazy man's way to do everything. No, the efficient, environmentally sensitive, That's right. organic farmer's way. Of course. <laughs> Which, ironically enough, Thank happened you. to be very compatible. <laughs> right, right, exactly. Well, for the first time in Abbott history, an Abbott has a cell phone. Because using the f toll phones or whatever, you know, it's hard. So I went to Akihabara yesterday, the electric town, and I must say it's already quite addictive, and especially just the flipping. I feel very pro. After Kyle emerges from his lair and eats some octopus tentacles, he, he, he moves on to his next activity. Last time I leave a bunch of my pants when I do laundry. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> I order four strings from the same. Four strings. but that's a step in the right direction. I approve. Wink. <laughs>